Okay, hi there and welcome to a macro video looking at the relationship between house prices and consumer spending in the UK economy. First of all, a few key bits of data on the housing market. Uh, the pace of property price inflation is slowing in the UK. House prices in the year to July 2019 uh, increased by less than 1%. And there are, of course, big variations in house prices across different regions. In London, the average property value is less than just under £500,000, whereas in Northern Ireland and the northeast of England, uh, the average price of property is less than £150,000. One of the key bits of data we look at is the number of new homes being started and completed. Now that number fell sharply during the last recession. It has increased a little bit since then and around 40,000 new homes are being built and completed every three months in the UK, although that figure is well below uh, what most experts think is the, the, the 200,000 plus per year needed for the housing market to meet population growth as well as social change. Here's a chart showing average house price, average house prices for the UK. Uh, it's a pretty well known fact that house prices are, are, are correlated with household borrowing and spending over the course of the economic cycle. Uh, this chart shows, of course, the fall in prices in 2008, the slow growth of prices in 2013, and then a, a quite significant pickup more recently, although the rate of increase has moderated. So, how might an increase in house prices affect consumer spending? Uh, rising house prices generally encourage consumer spending and hence an increase in aggregate demand. And for most people, housing is the biggest component of their wealth. So three key points here. First of all, that uh, if property prices go up, that can lead to improved consumer confidence. And if people's animal spirits are better, they may have a greater willingness to go out there and spend some money. Secondly, if you own a home, uh, if the price goes up, uh, homeowners may choose to release some of the equity in their property. In other words, people will borrow more against the value of their home, either perhaps to spend on goods and services, or perhaps do some home improvements, some renovations, or perhaps I don't know, supplement the pension income or pay off other debt. Equity is the difference between the market value of your property and the existing debt uh, of the mortgage that you have. The third point is that higher uh, house prices typically lead to an increase in rent levels. People who want to, who need to rent. And if you're a landlord, perhaps you have a, a cluster of buy to let properties. If rents go up, uh, that adds to your disposable income and your spending power. So several ways in which uh, an increase in property prices could feed through to higher consumption. However, there are some downsides of rising house prices from the point of view of consumer spending. Uh, first of all, increased house prices make it much harder for people to actually get a mortgage. They may well have to save a lot more money in order to build a, a sufficiently large deposit um, to buy to get a mortgage loan. According to recent research from Halifax, the average deposit put down by those buying their first home uh, last year was, was nearly 16% of the average price. In other words, they needed over £30,000 deposit, and that's well out of the reach of many people, even if they have a fairly well-paid job. Secondly, uh, if property prices go up, that tends to lead to a distribution of wealth away from younger towards older generations. And typically, people in their 40s and 50s tend to have a higher propensity to save rather than spend. So that might depress aggregate consumption a little bit. Thirdly, uh, we've talked about rents going up. Well, if you have to rent your property, effectively that reduces your disposable income. You have to pay the rent. Therefore, that means you have less to spend on other goods and services. So there are three valuation points uh, dampening the effect of higher house prices on aggregate consumption. I think a key valuation point I'd like to leave you with is the concept of mortgage risk. So when you take out a housing loan, uh, obviously it's a secured loan, it's secured on the property itself, but there, there is a risk, particularly 
if we see a house price is falling by who knows five ten percent if you buy at the top of the market borrower can land in negative equity meaning that the market value of your property is actually less than the outstanding amount left to pay on your mortgage and that can be a particular problem for people who buy towards the end of a period of rising house prices well hopefully this short video has given you some some pointers and some feelers about how house prices can affect consumer demand.